So here's our system. We have an air trap and we also have a glider and the two follow gates. So first let's make sure the two follow gates are separated by roughly 50 centimeters. Uh, so I'll start with 10 centimeters on one side and then I can line it up to exactly 60 centimeters. Okay. Alright, so I was going from the center to the center. Now there are two piece of plastics. Um, so there's, a, there's, there's this crack here that you can use with the reference. So it's 60 to 10, exactly 50 centimeters. Okay. So we have two follow gates, and this is the, uh, the follow gates controller as well as smart timer. And uh, there's a string, you probably can't see it from the video. And uh, here we have a pulley that has very little friction. And then at the end of the pulley, at the string, we have one clip. We're supposed to have five clips, but right now we only have one clip. So if I turn down the air, it would be very loud and noisy. I can't really record the video, so I'll pretend the air was on. And uh, I'll take four more clips. So to make a total of five clips. And uh, all clips will have to be either at this end of the string or at the other end, which means on the glider. So, let's do this. I'll attach the clips to the glider. Okay, I want to make sure the clips are not interfering with the string. So, this is, okay, well, there we go. And also, I want to make sure the clips are not going to interfere with the follow gate. The follow gates are triggered by these two picket fence structures. So if the, the clips are like this, then uh, they will be triggering the follow gates. So I want to make sure the clips are low enough so they don't trigger the, the follow gates. All right. So to start an experiment, we want to start with the, uh, the glider just a bit beyond the first gate. The exact location doesn't matter. But you want to watch out for the, uh, the, the clips. If you pull too far back, the clips are going to ride up on the pulley, right? So you want to make sure that doesn't happen. And I'll check this side. Okay, so, so the, uh, okay, the clip is not anywhere on the pulley, so this is good. And uh, if I let go with air on, uh, you know, the glider will glide through both gates, and each time the gate gets something underneath, it's flash its uh, red LED on top and after that is done over, over here I will uh, stop the glider uh, that is after it has already passed through the second gate all right so I want to make sure that the glider can pass through the second gate before the clips are on the floor so let's check check this condition all right I have the glider here and I'm checking the clip uh, there's one clip here. It is not touching the floor yet, but it's rather close. It's, uh, it's about less than 10 centimeters in distance. So uh, I'm good. I'm still good here. But if you start moving the, the clips from the glider to the other end, let's make sure you don't build a very long string of clips. And that makes the clips touch the floor much more quickly. All right. So uh, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, we can build up the, uh, the clips like this, just make, probably make a cross or some other shape other than a big string of clips. So, all right, there we go. Okay, so this is how to set up the experiment. And in the next video, we'll capture some data and uh, we'll see how the data looks like. So. Uh, maybe one last thing here is to, to check the string, make sure the string is roughly horizontal. So, um, I'll just take my meter stick and measure the height of the string um, on the left side, starting from a, uh, for example, from the, the bottom of the air track. Approximately five centimeters. So, I'll try this again over here. Approximately five centimeters, slightly below, uh, maybe by less than a millimeter. So I move where the uh, string is attached to, slightly higher, just a little bit. I 
and the string is, is good. All right. 